I'm going to post this as a video response to how to do a centroid. I'm just going to run through that calculation of what was a circle and a square on a board and where it's the center of mass. Visualizing it, the circle had a radius of 1 and the square had a side of 2. More or less, across the circle would be 2 and across the square would be 2. All right, so um, we'll see if I can sketch that into the... Um, calculation or into the, the comments here on this calculator but this is a great way to use lists here if you remember the first the top of the calculation for a centroid is the sum of the distance times the areas and the bottom is the area and so if you make lists the first one being the distance the second one being the area and the third one being a calculation of the distance times the area list one times list two and then you take the sum of one list divided by the sum of another list you'll get the distance of the centroid so we're going to do that right here just to show you once again how important lists are in terms of data structures we're going to do that by turning it on and going right away checking our mode because we're kind of in the habit we'll actually set the float just the two enter there and we're going to set that to degrees even though it's unimportant hit second quit now we'll go into our stat and edit and hopefully it comes up L1, L2, L3. So let's just assume the first one is the distance. So we've only had two things here. The first one, the distance of the centroid of the circle was 1. And you might actually, in the end, have to do an X, Y, and Z, but we're just going to do the X. And the distance to the center of the rectangle from the, from the datum or the origin was across the circle which would be 2 and then across half the square which would be 3. All right, so we have L1 written down as having units of feet on our side sheet that goes with our calculator whenever we turn it on. Uh, and now you're going to put the areas in. Well the area of a circle we'll just put it in here because it's pi r squared this is just going to be pi. Um, second pi. There, there's pi. Pi goes in that number, 3.14. Obviously, it's more than it. And the area of the square is 4. All right. And you could do lengths and widths and whatever else. Now, what you can do with L3, you can actually do this here. You can say L3 equals second L2 star second L1. And you have the values here. So now, in the end, we're going to take you out of here, and you can notice as you go down here, I don't know if it actually does the calculation, but you can actually do something called the sum. So we now have our lists here, and we can go now and say, well, the centroid is going to be nothing more than the sum of list 3 divided by the sum of list 2. And here's where you start to learn, okay, it's a mathematical calculation, but for a list. So we can say here, second list ops I think it's going to be sum sum of second L1 I'm sorry go back here delete second L3 divided by second list sum of second list L2. In other words, the sum of the distances times the area is divided by the sum of the areas. And that will give you distance to the centroid. And like a lot of things, this is a great problem to do because you should kind of not know the exact answer, but it should be a little bit to the right of the edge of the circle a little bit to the right of the edge of the circle. And comparing circles and squares in terms of shapes is a key concept, especially if you're doing a lot of uh, asphalt paving or concrete paving because you got that little fillet there at your curb returns or curb radii. So we're going to hit enter here, see what we get. That looks about right. It's about 2.1, a little bit beyond. So I'll put this out as a video response, a great use of some basic list stuff in your calculator. Um, Again, you know what you can do in AutoCAD to check it. If something's much more complex, you can put those shapes together and say mass prop. So we don't want to, as much as I'll give you those tools early, 
you got to realize they're not that efficient, especially if when you go on the computer, you are on, I don't know, um, LinkedIn. Let's talk to you later. Bye.